So there's one of these. And then do do you remember the question like from yesterday when we showed they asked like w which side water would be in reactant on product side? So mm -hmm. here we say that water is in a pro uh, in reactant side, yeah. Hmm. Well now we can cancel waters. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Can we? I have one water on the left and one on the right. Yes, Is that not what you have? Yeah, because I missed one water. I made a mistake here, so. Okay. Yeah, we can now cancel water and we won't have to work at all. That's unusual. I don't think we've done an example before. Of course, there'll still be water as the solvent, but it won't be participating in the reaction on net. So we don't need to include the solvent here because now these two will cancel and the water is not participating in the reaction on net. So we can just say that. Um, So here's that it's neither because it has the answer. Yeah, what was, what was the question? It was like, uh, it asked like, so uh, where you would find the water in a product or reactant side or neither? They gave so, you the option yeah. for neither? Yeah, they, yeah. Excellent. Okay. okay. And now, if this was a test problem, I would double check. Yeah. How would you double check this? Well, first... Uh, we need the net charge again? Well, first you check, do the tins balance. Well, three tins on the left, three tins okay. on the right. Next, I would check, do the oxygens balance. Well, three times two is six plus 4 is 10. 3 times 3 is 9, nine plus, plus 1, one is, 10. is 10. Now I would check if the hydrogens balance. One, one over here and one over here. Now I would check if the xenons balance. One over here and one over here. And we already checked the oxygens. Now we have to check the charges. Uh, 3 times, well, 3 times, what would be the net charge on the left? 6 minus, it's 7 minus? Negative 7. Negative 3 seven. times negative 2 minus 1 is negative, negative seven. 7. And on the right. Um, on the, it's going to be Six minus and one is seven, seven. Thank goodness. Okay, so we didn't make any mistakes and we got it right. So this is a test question because it's so easy to make mistakes, you should double check at the end. We don't need to check electrons because those canceled out earlier on. Mm -hmm. So you have to check all the elements and the charges in your final answer. And if they don't balance, that just means you made a mistake somewhere along the way because this method is foolproof. If we do it correctly, there won't be any mistakes. Okay. Um, so if we find a mistake, we must have made a mistake. Uh, if they don't balance at the end, there must have been a mistake earlier on. Okay, and uh, then SNO2 got oxidized? That you would tell from the half reactions. You can't really tell that from the full reaction because there's no electrons. Um, so yeah, what happened to the SNO2 minus? Was it oxidized or reduced? It's because it lost these lost electrons. Zero. The electrons are on the right. And what happened to the H xenon O4 xenon minus? Because it got these electrons here. You, you can't tell easily who was oxidized and reduced from here because the electrons aren't mm -hmm. appearing here anymore. You have to look at the half reactions to see which okay. compound got oxidized or reduced uh, in, in the way that we did this here. Okay, and then the SNO2, because it got oxidized, it's a reducing agent. That's right. This is the compound that got oxidized, so it's the reducing agent. That's correct. Okay, and the um, xenon is going to be oxidizing agent. It got reduced, so it's the oxidizing agent. That's correct. This is the oxidizing agent. It's the thing that oxidized the tin compound. Mm -hmm. And this is the reducing agent. It's the thing that reduced the xenon mm -hmm. compound. That's right. Okay. I think I'm like, I was kind of having a hard time with um, charges. Mm -hmm. balancing the charges because yeah. I saw that if I was given negative already, then I should give it negative. And if it's this side it gave me neutral, I should give it neutral, you know, right. instead of balancing both sides. That's okay. right. That's it. Okay, yeah. If you, if you think about the logic of the problem, we want the total charge of the starting materials to equal the total charge of the products. Right. But that doesn't mean that any individual starting material has to have the same charge as anything else. That's the same principle we use for balancing the, the elements. The other thing that gave you difficulty here was balancing the hydrogens because we missed this hydrogen. So always double checking is a good idea. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. These videos are offered on a pay what you like basis. You can pay for the use of the videos at my website. There's a link to my website in the info box. The address is 
www.freelance-teacher.com slash videos dot htm. Or you can just use the link in the info box. Thank you.